Let's yeah, go. Just, just leave it on top. You're gonna sting real slow. It's on gonna crank me. It's gonna nah. be a lip. Does it dive? It's called a metal lip. Okay. It can dive if you real fast. It'll go a couple feet under. Yeah. Um. For the most part, it's more effective when you're just crawling it on top and it's just barely uh, moving. Bait. They Wake just they it. just yeah. come up. And it's been very. Super reliable. But I know you're thinking, why am I in a van? Well, I'll tell you why I'm in a van. I'm getting to experience for the first time today surf fishing uh, with Brett and Johnny today. We're up here at the Jersey Coast. It's going to be an amazing day. I can't wait to experience this for the first time. I'm 50. It took me 50 years to try this surf fishing, Jersey Shore. Come on, let's go. Waves, that's where the deep holes are. So I'm so used to casting at a piece of cover, a piece of structure. Here it's just like, you look that way, you look that way, it all looks the same for 100 miles, you know? Strange, very strange. Yeah, weed it up. Um, you know, of course, first time out here trying this, and it's the conditions. That's the great thing about fishing, man. You know, it could be perfect the day before, perfect the week before, but every day is different. So today we've got extra high water. We've got a, a big moon, which causes big tides, and then we had a wind shift. So we have a lot of this, a lot of this incredible Hulk grass floating around out here. And every cast we're getting caught. So uh, swim shads, top water, doesn't matter. So, you know, you gotta keep moving. We gotta find water that's fishable. Uh, at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, you know, we'll come back and try again another day. So bad conditions, but maybe we can fish through it. You know, a couple clean cranks, so we might be able to catch it. Right. And if not, we we'll just go somewhere else. Just, yeah. yeah, running gun. I yeah. like it. Yeah.
where there's current flowing over it, it's just gonna zigzag like back and forth like that. And it's almost like a glide bait hit. You know, you get the same effect. I know what you're thinking. That is not the biggest striper you've ever seen, but it is an important striper. Fred, thank you for putting me on my first striper in the surf. I have to say, it's the first time I've seen one with a chatter bait on the surf, dude. That's a huge accomplishment. Oh my God. Uh, you know, it was a tough start for us this morning in an area with a lot of fish, but a lot of heavy seaweed. So just like in big boat fishing, running and gunning but we're doing it by vehicle getting in the toyota fred in the van and we're just moving staying focused got to some cleaner water no seaweed and there's the result on a chatterbait baby yeah yeah <laughs> that's crazy all right man i am stoked up let's release this striper try to get another one on the chatterbait thank you baby come on <laughs> I think he's up here somewhere. Where the hell he go? <laughs> Dude, did that just happen? Yeah. Holy hell! Get one, you know, they, 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 All right, listen to me. You heard me talk a lot about how techniques cross over from fresh to salt. Amazing experience out here with Fred and Johnny. First time surf fishing on the Jersey Shore. And this is the best technique that I'm using to catch these stripers. Vibrating jig with a big Berkeley Powerbait Maxent Minnow on the back. And it's really doing a great job of imitating the bait. 
small bunker, peanut bunker. But the real deal is the vibration. And with the dirty water today and the extra weeds, it's making a big difference. Freshwater technique, saltwater fishing, equals big striped bass. All right, everybody, we made another move. Uh, this time, we continued north. You look around, the weather's not changing. This has been a foggy, misty day, but this is a run and gun day. Uh, when the plan's not working, you gotta keep going. We made that second move, we caught too quick, the bite died, we gotta keep going. But we're running out of time, so uh, we've got about two hours before it gets dark. So Fred's taking us up here, we're gonna see if we can get onto him. Be nice to catch a couple more. Let's see what happens. This thing is bomb. Did that lighter line? He's doing it. Well, that was uh, it was an interesting day. Uh, you know, my first real experience surf fishing. Have I fished off the surf before? Yes, but have I went to target fish like today? No. So it was a cool experience. Um, you know, it really opened my eyes up to a different way of fishing. Um, you know, the interesting thing about the day is there are things that are totally different from the bass world and there are things that are totally the same. You know, uh, on the different side, the tackle is pretty wild. Um, you know, eight to 11 foot rods, a uh, heavier line, you know, distance is a real key in this form of fishing. So that's a difference. Um, you know, waiting in that surf, dude, I'll tell you, you know, there's no boring moments. Um, I think when you're surf fishing, every wave that comes by you, you're paying attention. You're paying attention to your cast, your bait, your balance, your feet. So that's a lot different. Um, you know, there are some things that are definitely the same. I would say, you know, how the fish relate to food, especially this time of the year. You know, we got in an area when you saw birds, we saw bait, that's when we got our bites. Um, get into areas where there's no birds, there's no bait, no bites right so very food oriented and then the super surprise of the day on why they're the same is the lures I've always said this man and, and I'm really at this stage of my life and at this stage of my career this stuff means a lot to me and being able to cross back and forth right being able to cross the lines of freshwater saltwater different species in salt different species in fresh I'm at that stage in my life where I want to do that. And I really think that one of the similarities today was striped bass in the surf act a lot like largemouth bass. They act a lot like smallmouth bass. So, you know, saving the day today with a uh, chatterbait, you know, a lure that is synonymous with bass fishing, three quarter ounce white chatterbait, putting that Berkeley uh, Max scent uh, minnow on the back. That's the big one, the pearl colored minnow. 
fishing it a lot like I would for bass. That more of that yo-yo retrieve, right? Letting it get down, brrr, popping it back up, letting it get down. Brrr. Uh, three, three or four bites today on that. So that was a similarity. But all in all, very tough day. Running and gunning, trying to find the fish. Uh, we caught a few. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, big shout out to my guys back there. South, South Philly Fred, Johnny Valdez sitting back there. Shout out to those guys for showing me this. And this is something I will do again. I want to keep coming down. I want to keep trying it. And if the timing's right, you can come down here and have a day of a lifetime. So hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, do me a favor. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down there. If you're already a subscriber to my channel, do me a favor. Hit your notification button. Every time you hear that ding, ding, it's going to show you a new video that we have out. So thanks for watching. Go and Ike, Jersey Shore, surf fishing. See you later. I can't, can't get up too fat. Ugh.